Hey guys, I'm going to uh, introduce you to a game that I like to play, and uh, I play it a lot. It's uh, <clears throat> it helps me with my nine ball game, but without the, uh, the without the use of a break. So I do play a nine ball ghost game. It takes a little bit more time. You got to break. You got to rack. So it, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more uh, time consuming. A quicker version of a uh, of the nine ball is uh, the nine ball ghost game is the uh, six ball ghost game. So what I do is I send all my balls to the end of the table. Without looking, I grab three balls in each hand. Six balls. And I roll them. I'll show you. I have three. And I just roll them on the table. And um, usually I, I, I don't shoot a ball that's tied up. So if, if I got one that's tied up, I'll move it just a little bit. And then I just shoot them. I shoot them in the order. Low ball to high ball, just like I were playing nine ball. So uh, on this, on this, for instance, this table, I got three, six, seven, nine, eleven, fourteen to be my last ball. So I try to figure out a pattern. Um, normally for me, I try to go uh, three balls out or three shots out. So what I'm looking for here is, I'm going to make the three ball with ball in hand, but I got to get on the seven. So what I look at is, I may look at a line from the three to the pocket, and what side of that line do I have to get on the seven? It looks like I got to be on slightly on this side of the six ball maybe or even or even a stop slight follow I'll shoot the six in the side the seven in the corner it's, it's, it should be a pretty easy run up so I'll, I'll take the ball in hand to start my run so I'm playing a six ball goes sometimes I'll go to uh, a race to 11 sometimes I'll go uh, Heck, I've even went to a race to 20. Most of the time, most of the time I'll go anywhere from five to seven games. So a race to five or a race to seven. And the rules are, I have to run out and if I miss, I lose, right? And the ghost wins. So I, I'm not allowed to miss. I have to run all six balls in order. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll shoot the three ball first. I just shot that ghost off. Didn't have to shoot hard. I'll play the six in the side. <clears throat> I may I may draw it back off the just off the rail slightly, and bounce it out. I could stop it right there. It probably doesn't leave me a bad shot, but I would have to jack up. I'll see if I can do that. Wasn't a difficult shot. Uh, I got seven ball in the corner. That should give me leave me easy shape for the nine. What I don't want to get is I don't want to get perfectly straight in here. If I get perfectly straight in here, I'm gonna to have to draw back to shoot that eleven ball. Anyway, I think if I just make the seven ball, I'll be okay on that nine. Been on the on the rail, but it looks like I'm straight in. And that's the exact position I was trying to try not to get. I should have hit that a little bit harder and bounced it out, which would have gave me a, a slight angle on that nine ball. 
But since I'm straight in, now I'm going to have to shoot a long shot on the love it. So I'm just going to have to just roll this in. Just roll it in since I, I have no angle. I shoot a long shot on the love Now I really don't like this shot. That leaves me really tough, but 14 is not too far away from the corner, so really all I have to do is make this, and if I can make this, 14 should be a fairly easy shot. So this is not the shot that I wanted, all because I got straight in, but I should be able to still make the 11 ball. Just rolled it, just rolled it slow, I was on the rail, couldn't really go wild and crazy there, I just want to shoot it soft and just try to make the shot, because the 14, I didn't think would be a tough shot. One zero, so now I'm up one zero, I ran out in order. Ball in hand. I'm going, I'm showing you guys uh, race to three. So one zero. Grab six random, six random balls. Put them out on the table. Look like what I do is the 15, the 15 and the two went in. So I'll just, so I'll just put. 15 and the two close to those pockets that they went into. That's kind of how I do it. Uh, it don't really matter. So here's here's my layout. My one ball will go in the corner. The ball that I got to get on is the four. So if I get on this side, if I get on this side of the two ball line, I get on this side of the two ball line. Here's the two ball line here, straight across. And if I get on this side of the two ball line, I might be able to roll in. If I get on this side of the two ball line, it's probably not going to leave any angle. I'll have to come off the rail and back out. So what do I do? So for me, I want to roll the ball. So I'll just roll it softly and try to get like right here. Shoot a little stop shot maybe, a little stunt on that two ball. Should be okay. Oh, there you go. I missed the shot number one. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, do that again. Rather than re-throw the balls out, I'll just put the one ball right back in that same spot, but I lose the game. So now, now I'm uh, I'm down, uh, tied one one. So now I'm in game three. Game three. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. My pockets. I got my pockets redone. I got my felt redone. I got my bumpers redone. Everything is everything is brand new and it plays it plays really tough, really tough. In fact, uh, I've probably only been playing on this about a week now, but I think I think because of because of the uh, the quality of the of the felt, it's a Simonis eight six five. I got uh, I got the pro rails. And the uh, the pro pockets. I played on some really good tables here in this town, and this is this table is as good as any of the tables that I've played on. So it's kind of like a diamond. Those are the same pockets, same rails, same felt as the diamonds come with, and I just put those on my valley. So, but I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, so here's the situation. So we're I'm looking out three balls. So I have to get on this 10 ball. The two ball is obviously going to be an easy shot. 
So I have to get an angle to get on this two ball. Now I can stop here and make the four come off the rail and back here for the 10. Or I can draw back here, make the four draw back. I kind of like this little angle shot a little bit easier. I don't know, sometimes I feel more comfortable drawing the ball. I think I will play, I think I'm gonna play this off the rail, little cut shot. So that leaves me a little bit of an angle. It leaves me a little bit of an angle and I should be able to just hit a stunt and punch out, and hit the rail, and come straight back here. So basically what I do when I hit a, when, I, when I'm coming off the rail, I try to look at an opposite diamond that I want to go to. So I'm going to kind of try to hit somewhere in between these two diamonds to get on that 10. But first things first, I got to make this shot. Not always easy. Outside, probably just outside middle right there. I didn't put in a draw or a fall stroke on that on that ball. Just a tip of outside middle, just enough spin to bring it right back to, to my target. So here's a kind of a tricky shot. <clears throat> I'm not too far away from the rail, but my 12 ball, my 12 ball will go in this side pocket now. I can do one of two things. I can slow roll this thing and shoot the 12 in the side pocket, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to keep this like as simple as possible. I'm going to make that 10 ball in the corner. I'm just going to barely roll it up, be real tiny with it, and shoot that 12. It just depends on how it comes off that rail. So if it comes straight out, I may have to shoot that, that 12 ball here. But I would like to shoot the 12 on the side if I can. My rails are so super fast. Super, super fast. And that's kind of in between, but it's not a hard shot. That's really kind of in between the corner, in between the side. But I think it's a fairly simple shot in the side pocket. I just don't want to scratch here. Sometimes I, I, I worry about scratching so that my easy shot is to shoot it right in the side with a little jaw spin and, and bring it back off the rail just for just for safety. And so I, I don't want to really slow roll this ball. I really want to just hit it straight in the pocket. Like so. so I just use the rail stop the ball. If I roll that ball, I take a chance on this thing getting way down here or maybe I stun it right into the pocket. I don't know. Seemed like the, the draw shot was the, the shot I want to hit right there. So now I just got the last ball. Straight in. So that puts me up two to one. This is a race to three. Six ball goes, right? Six ball goes. Hopefully, hopefully I'll end the match right here. Grab six balls, roll them on the table. See what happens. Looks like the 12 ball went down, so I'll, I'll, I'll re replay the spot the 12 ball somewhere. Uh, I'll put it there. All right. So I, I will, I'm going to take ball and I got to get on the four. So here's the deal with this shot. Um, Looks like maybe I can just come out to here, but I like, like, I really want to get all the way on this side to get on that 
to get on that six ball. Or I could be somewhere here, middle at this angle, and maybe that's where I need to get. So I, I, I kind of like to just think about where I need to get, because I got to get on the six ball. A three ball is really not an issue. But here's the deal, I don't want to roll up too much and get behind the 10 and then I lose, right? So really my target, my target is going to be somewhere right in, right here. I don't want to get jacked up over the seven. So this is really a, a touchy shot, really a touchy shot. So I, I was going to just nip it and bounce out. I think I'm going to get close to it with ball in hand. And just hit the rail and bounce out to here. I think that's what I want to do. But you got to be real delicate with these shots because this ball will, especially on these rails, will get away from you. I just, I just barely, I just barely hit that. And that ball rolled so far. So really, right here, I'm gonna have to put a little draw outside English because I'm kind of getting used to these rails. If I don't, I don't get enough outside spin, it'll come right back at the six ball, and I won't have a shot. So I don't have to hit this hard, but I do have to get some spin on this ball to bring it back off that rail. It's just enough off the rail, I think. I think I will be able to do that. Um, I got to get on that seven ball. The ten ball is fairly easy. Twelve balls in the pocket. So if I can, if I can just make the six ball and, and bounce straight back, and really, right here, my target is I want to just roll right into the ten ball. If I'll just bounce into the ten ball and the ball stays right there, I have an easy shot on the seven ball. So that's kind of how I'm thinking right here. I, I don't really want to draw this ball because if I draw it, uh, chances are I can bounce out and, and either hit the seven ball. If I miss it, I hit a perfect shot. It goes, I scratch in that side box. So I, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to hit, I worked on this shot earlier. I'm just going to hit like middle, uh, one a tip of outside English, and it'll bring that ball straight back into that, that 10 ball. And it should be nice and soft for me. So this is kind of a, a cool shot that I, I practiced on earlier. So the spin kind of um, the spin kind of helps throw the ball into the pocket, and then it, the, the ball just comes straight off the rail at that point. I was about a 45 degree angle, so I cut that ball. 45 degree angle to that ball, to that pocket. So it's um, just a shot that I that I, I practice a little bit. So I'm almost straight in on the seven. What I need to do is I just really just need to cheat the pocket a tiny bit and hit the rail and bounce out. And if I can just bounce out somewhere right in here, it's an easy shot on the 10. I could, I could stop it. I can stop it I'll, and I'll leave this angle. But I think, I think if I can hit just a good follow, I can leave myself a real simple shot. I really got to cheat this pocket. And there it was. I just hit the tip right there. Probably hit it a tiny bit harder than I wanted to because I wanted really just to get straight in, straight in on that 10, but it's not a bad shot. I I have probably a, a about a 30 degree cut, which is pretty simple. Just need to pocket the ball. I'm gonna put a little low, a little outside, a little low outside uh, English, and just bring the ball back against the rail and back out to the middle. Should be fairly simple. So 
I got perfect shape. Didn't have to do a whole lot. Just a tiny bit of a, a tiny bit of low left draw spin. There's just plenty enough. 30 degree angle, brought it straight out, gets the reel out to the center. So pretty easy. <clears throat> There you have it. Race to three. Six ball goes. Uh, one three to one. If I was really feeling good or I had lots of time, I would probably play about 15 more of those games, it seems like. Sometimes, sometimes when I really got it, it feels good and I'm struggling it well. Hell, I may I may shoot 20 games um, and try to see how bad I can beat the ghosts. Um, since I've had this table, in fact, the, in fact, the very first time I got this table, I started playing the Six Ball Ghost. I lost my first two matches against the Ghost in a race to seven. Disappointed. Finally, kept playing, kept playing, kept playing. After about 20 hours, 30 hours on the table, getting used to this table, I started beating the Ghost, and I, I beat the Ghost every time since. So, um, and I think I have a good feeling today. I'm shooting well, pretty much. I feel like I'm in stroke. I would probably win fairly easy if I played, you know, in a race of seven tonight or a race of 11. So I don't, I don't think it would be difficult. Anyway, it's a great game to play. Uh, you know, especially, it, it doesn't really matter if you're an eight ball player or you're a nine ball player. Uh, this six ball ghost game because uh, it requires uh, you to control the cue ball. And uh, it's rotational, it's a rotational game. So anytime you're playing a rotational game, it's gonna make your eight ball game better. And, and, and definitely it's gonna help you a nine ball. I mean, just think about it. Most of the time when you break a nine ball, you're gonna make one to two balls, majority of the time. So that means you got seven balls to run out. Hey, if you can run six, you can run seven. I don't. I really don't see a whole lot of difference in that. As long as when we're shooting, we're playing uh, three balls out. So you're not thinking about the ball you're on. You're thinking about your second ball up next, getting you in position for that third ball. And when I started to really uh, start focusing on position play, and when I really started looking at my shot line and getting on the correct side is when I uh, started running racks. And so I, I'm beginning to run more and more racks, nine ball and eight ball. Anyway, guys, uh, that's how I practice. Um, leave me a comment if you, if you like the game and uh, give it a try. I, I think it'll help you. You guys take care and uh, I'll see you in a day or so. Thanks.